Hey guys, Tech Mention with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to remove this calendar virus or spam or malware that your iPhone might be infected with if you went to some site or just accidentally clicked on a link and now you have all these notifications but you can't quite remove them by clicking on each of them. As you can see on your calendar, it's just a bunch of these events that keeps on popping up once you do click a link. However, those links are very malicious and you don't want to click them but you can't remove every single of them but there's a way quick way to remove all of it completely and get your iPhone completely uh, freed from this issue that you might be experiencing so there's multiple ways this kind of happens as you can see here we're going to explain to you how to remove it and what would happen if you were to click and what to do if you already clicked on a link here as you can see there's multiple examples of this happening on different iPhone user and it seems to be what's known as virus or malware infecting your Apple iPhone calendar so how do you remove this so those are some of the picture example but we'll show you how to do that so first thing you want to do of course is go ahead and locate your calendar app so if you located your calendar app you notice here in the calendar app you have a bunch of views here you can go ahead and look at it but bottom over here if you click on event there's the option for calendars so you click on calendars take a look at these calendars that you have now see if one that doesn't gonna fit your thing or doesn't seem like one that you have added so we click on that icon let's say this NBA schedule one we don't want this calendar we're gonna go ahead unsubscribe and we're gonna go ahead unsubscribe you can do the first one or the second one, it doesn't matter. So we'll unsubscribe. Now remove that here and then hit that done option. So that's one thing you can do is if you see any one that you don't recognize, let's remove it from there. Now the next thing, which is probably the most important way to get that removed, is going into settings. And this time in settings, we're gonna go ahead. Now this is on iOS 16 and this is similar to iOS 15 and 14 but if you have an older version of iOS we're going to leave a link to our previous video we did on older version of iOS which can be slightly different but you want to check that out as well. So as you can see we're in settings now this time around we're going to go to calendar in the settings and then what you see is accounts we're going to go click on accounts here and this time we're going to take a look at these accounts that are using calendar that has a calendar on your iPhone. As you can see here, there's iCloud one, most likely for our iCloud account, and then there's this random one. So this random one, let's say you don't recognize a random one for some reason, it's some weird one. Now we wanna go ahead and click on that. Once we click on that random one, what we'll do is delete that random account that you don't recognize because that is the infected account that is making those events or those spam virus uh, events that keeps on popping up on your calendar. So we're gonna hit that delete and then we'll delete that account and then that will delete it and you should see it gone and now your calendar has been pretty much removed of that virus spam or malware. Now if you go back into your calendar you should no longer see those annoying events that keep on popping up. Again that's simple you want to do the calendar here take a look at the official subscribe and then go to settings in your calendar and remove any accounts that you don't recognize and if you don't see the settings we just showed you you want to go check out older version or if you have an older version like I was 11 12 or even 13 check out other previous video we did which is slightly different but it's similarly like that now if you were to click on a link what would happen if you clicked on what this link well you well, if you clicked on it it's probably fine but if you gave your personal information like credit card information or any passwords anything like that make sure you change those password or if you did credit put your credit card information call your credit card company up to get maybe to make sure that there isn't some unknown charge or anything like that because those things shouldn't be charging you and you just want to make sure you take the precaution but this thing again it's a simple fix should be quick and easy to do so hopefully that you guys found this video helpful if so please make sure that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time